by TBC, what's the deal? So I was just watching Mike and Mike on ESPN, and they had uh, Dana White on the air. He was talking about, uh, what's the girl's name? Seriously, I forgot her name, man. I remember her face. Uh, Ronda Rousey. He was talking about Ronda Rousey, about uh, her getting beat by Holly Holm. About her coming back, he said there will be a rematch. And that's one thing about Dana White that I do respect. He makes the toughest matches. Now, we know that uh, Ronda Rousey was in there. Rather, no matter what you think of her opponents, I've heard people call her opponents bums. And it's guys that I don't even think watch MMA. You know, that's one thing that Dana White doesn't do. He doesn't make bum fights. Now, Ronda Rousey may have went in there and made those girls look like bums, but those are some of the top MMA fighters in the world. That's one thing about Dana White. He does put on the best versus the best and uh, even with the holly home fight a lot of people thought that was going to be another blowout a lot of people now some people thought that holmes had a chance and thought she would win but ronda rousey was the big betting favorite a lot of people thought she would win that fight and she lost um then dana white went on to say uh he's promoting this uh conor mcgregor versus aldo fight now for you mma fans that's probably a special fight it's probably one of the biggest fights of the year I really stopped watching UFC and the MMA altogether. I'll say about 2012 is probably when I stopped watching it. And there's a new slew of characters in the UFC. Now, when I was watching, it was Anderson Silva. John Jones had about probably two or three fights. He was still kind of an unknown. Uh, Rashad Evans. I mean, like guys like that, you know, um, Forrest Griffin. I mean, those type of guys, BJ Penn, uh, Hughes. Diaz brothers, those are the guys, Diego Sanchez, those are the guys that I was watching when I was watching the UFC. Um, but one thing Dana White said on Mike and Mike this morning is he said that uh, Conor McGregor is probably the best shit talker in combat sports since Muhammad Ali. He thinks it's Ali and then McGregor. This is, you know, when Dana White does his thing, he wants boxing and MMA to be their own entity and their apples and oranges. You can't compare them. But he's always trying to find ways to compare his MMA fighters to boxers. Now, just two months ago, it was Ronda Rousey is the Mike Tyson of uh, M of MMA, right? Now it's Conor McGregor is a just as good of a shit talker or just right under Muhammad Ali. Now, I mean, like, again, for some of you MMA fans, maybe that is right. Maybe, maybe Conor McGregor is a better shit talker than Ali to some of you. But it's just, to me, it's like Dana White, man. You, you want best of both worlds. You keep saying it's apples and oranges. But then whenever it's convenient for him to bring up pay-per-view numbers or uh, who's the best shit talker or he always finds a way to put boxing second. Now, he's a promoter. He's promoting his uh, his 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 entity. So I understand what he's doing, but you're not going to fool me as a fan. I'm, I don't have to go on here and uh, look up uh, Conor McGregor interviews to see if he talks as much shit as Ali. He probably talks a lot of shit, but it was the way Ali did it. How he can talk shit about you, make you laugh at the same time. Um, now, Ali's my favorite fighter of all time. Again, my top favorite fighters, Ali, Holmes, Foreman, Holyfield, Tyson. So some of you may say, hey, you're being biased. Okay, I'm being biased. Okay, but again, it's Dana White <laughs> trying to conveniently compare his MMA guys, his UFC guys, to some of our greatest boxers of all time. And that, you know... Shit, is Craig McGregor, or what's his name? O'Connor, whatever guy's name is, is he a better shit talker than Chael Sonnen? I remember watching Chael Sonnen. He was a, a great shit talker. Just compare the guys to the MMA guys. And some of you may look at this video and say, hey, you don't, you know, you're saying guys' names wrong. You don't even know the MMA. Again, maybe I'm being biased, but I damn sure know, well, I have a good guess that Conor McGregor is not a better shit talker than Ali. Now, I'll do my due diligence and go watch some of Craig McGregor whatever his name is, watch some of his interviews and see, you know, what his shit talking skills are. But why not just compare him to other MMA guys? I know why you can't, because the history isn't as rich. People gravitate more towards a name like Ali than they do a Chael Sonnen. If you were to say that, hey, he talks as much shit as Chael Sonnen used to. Compare him, compare the MMA guys to MMA guys. You never hear us boxing guys say, yeah, man, this uh, this Victor Postal, man, I mean, He's like an Anderson Silva out there. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. Or, yeah, you know, Floyd Mayweather can talk shit like Chael Sonnen. We never compare our boxing guys to MMA guys. But Dana White always finds a way to compare uh, Ronda Rousey to Mike Tyson. 
and I was comparing uh, O'Connor to Muhammad Ali. This for my boxing guys, you know what I'm saying? So MMA fans, you probably would hate this video, and that's fine. You know, I'm being biased. That's fine, too. But I'm going to be biased about my sport, man. And I love boxing, and I hate when Dana White tries to find it a convenient way to compare MMA to boxing. Just my opinion. I'm just one uploader. YTBC. I'm out.